Jackson on the run. This team is a pretty good rebounding team. They just about matched the Celtics. Celtics with a little bit of an advantage. Oh, and good up fake by Ewing. Got Robert off his feet, and he hits it. It's 3-0, Knicks. On the last month or so, uh, he really has been touching most bases and getting the ball up floor much quicker. Excellent defense by Parrish, but hitting for two over him is Patrick Ewing. And that's a, it's amazing to watch seven-footers work like that, play like little men. Bird to Parrish, picked off by Ewing. Newman has it. Three on two. Wilkins. Got it back. Bounces to Wilkins. Corner jump. No. Rebound again, Ewing. Ewing is everywhere. Very active on both backboards. Set it up again. Go down to Ewing. Wants to go on Robert. Good defense. Over him for two. Sandwick has really developed some back to the basket mode. It was there off the uh, double down on, on McHale. Ewing wants it. Baseline jump, two. I tell you, he has a number of spots on the court that he can go to. And I think he's been to all of them already here in the first. Wilkins has it. Alley oop. Forget about it. Patrick Ewing did off the fine uh, lob feed. Here's Ewing, wants to take it inside, hits it. I'll tell you what. They're going to have to give Robert help on Patrick. Uh... Selleck's had a good first quarter, fell behind by 10, but bounced back in fine fashion to lead by five. Ewing inside, over Klein, a foul, and it goes. I tell you, Patrick's been doing it all so far, literally carrying the uh, Knickerbockers with his work on both backboards. It's been effective, but his his offense has been varied, and uh, I don't know that he's missed a shot. But when the Celtics battled back, why they went into this uh, funk, I guess, that they've all been referring to. Here's Ewing again. This time he banks it in. He looks like he can do anything he wants right now. Well, see, he knows he can take Klein to the basket now. He can't get away with that against uh, Parrish, the taller man with a good reach. Here's Tucker now with the Sullocks leading by one. 10-10 remaining second quarter. Ewing wants to go over Klein. Jump. Well, you know. <laughs> wow. Sullocks down by three now. 9-10 left. Third, second quarter. Tucker. Ewing wants to go on Klein again. What a clinic he is putting on for offense and the pivot. He's got 20 points in the first half. At Madison Square Garden in New York, as Ewing goes over Klein again. Well, the right difficulty, Michael, as we well know, when you let us go, who's having a kind of year Patrick is, gets works just about every time. Very creates so much attention. And the defense always falls off anyone who's setting the picks. There's Ewing, wants to go on Parrish. That time he banked it in. We're running out of room here on the scorecard for Patrick Ewing. He's got 24 ahead of the field. Pinckney's fouled. 5.35 left here in the first half. Selleck's led by six at one point. The Knicks by 10. Now they have the lead back. Here's Quinette. Wilkins tries to go over Gamble. Cannot. Five on the shot clock. Now it's Ewing's chance. Pass Parrish. Left-handed. Scoop. Without Oakley in there, they shouldn't run the tail. Be able to run the transition they want. Nick's just gone outside completely now. Maybe they figure Patrick scores. Oh, oh hanging that. in the air. Oh, that was beautiful by Patrick Ewing. See, I can see now the problems the Knickerbockers are having. Their defense is not only uninspired, but the half-court offense, they, they simply, uh, other than that, they just stand around the perimeter and take the long bombs. Well, so far in the first half, it's been effective. They have uh, now 60 points. And guess who it goes to? Let's see. Jackson working on Dennis. Takes it all the way. Laid it up. Missed it. Tipped in by Ewing. And, uh, well, there's the scoring. And obviously not much balance. Ewing with 32. Uh, six for three other people. So they can be dropping his man off. Uh, and if necessary, doing as much as Robert's uh, defensive pressure has uh, picked up. Ewing now. Four for seven from the line. Has them both. Tucker and Lewis matching up. 
Klein and Ewing, of course. They bounce it down to Patrick. McHale helps. Oh, what a pretty shot by Ewing. He helps, but he's a little slow getting in there. His first hoop in the uh, third quarter. You don't have as many assists in a career as that man without knowing who to get it to. Tucker, good help. Dennis lost it. And here's Cheeks. He'll give it to Ewing. Forget about it. He wants to get the big guy involved. If he isn't already completely involved. <laughs> Uh, seven points in the quarter for Ewing and 39 on the night. Back to Ewing again. Jump shot over Klein. Hit it. Reggie Lewis has been hot so far tonight. 16 points so far. Ewing goes over McHale and hits that. 43 for Ewing. He's hit for 44 twice this season. First team foul on the Celtics. That's a ties his high for the year. It's going to be a battle. They're going to have to slow him down. 11-21 remaining. Plenty of time. But the Celtics trail by 10 right now. And Ewing has 40 five points Kevin says what about the ball if you get your hand on the ball doesn't that count 17 rebounds and a new career high for the big man second of two is up and not this time whoa he got the roll I think things are going he got all of the role. <laughs> Celtics have the lead now, 92-91, with 7-10 remaining. Well, Cheeks finishes that little uh, pass back from Ewing. They're falling back on Ewing. He's in the lane for about seven seconds, hooks it, and hits it. 49 for Ewing. The guy keeps getting it done. He has a further distance to travel, and sometimes he uh, he can't get down there quickly enough. Patrick Ewing. He's been over 30 points in his last seven games. And Ewing fouls out after a monster effort. 51 points, a career high, and I tell you, that has got to be frustrating when you have a night like that and cannot come away with a victory. Well, Patrick would give up every one of those 50 points if there was a W. Uh, 